outer orange. Welcome back. Blue Orange is back because we are here to talk about Kyrie. I have a lot to talk about this deck. This deck's actually really cool, really fun to play now. It's only going to get better from here. So if you're a big Kyrie player, guess what? You have stuff to do now. You have stuff to do later. And this deck just keeps getting better as we get more stuff. So let's go ahead and talk about Previet Sia. We are here to talk about Kyrie once more for probably the hundredth billionth time that I've talked about this deck on my channel. This is the grade four variant. And we are also playing a reverse stack engine in the deck. You can kind of go full on it, but we're going to go kind of half sees on it but we're gonna go and talk about the deck and then uh just kind of describe kind of sort of what we're doing here i have been doing pretty well with this deck i will say this is one of those decks where if you like really get lucky it kind of just goes wild when things go against you it's a really hard deck to recover from but we're gonna go ahead and talk about it. so first of all i got the sleeves i'm using mana moon sleeves someone actually gave me these i'm not the biggest fan of these they're a little a little too much for me but a lot of people do like the culture behind them so you know there's these for the main sleeves i'm actually using ava so i'm using some ava sleeves here just because i don't know i thought they were cool so i kind of stopped them on the deck when i was first building it let's go ahead and talk about the ride line so we're gonna start off with the sd's ride line the grade one i mean the grade zero you can realistically have anything here if you're running the mouse uh kinky then you do want this as your starter but if you're not running kinky you don't have to worry about this but this could be whatever your starter is obviously my deck has all the pretty pretty stuff on it so i just just cho chose to keep to, to chose to match next we have nanami sd so this is the write up from here to here her effect is really awesome placed on vanguard you could take a grade one or less from your drop and call it to the rear guard circle as rested so basically whatever you discard to write up you can bring back and if there's any on place abilities those abilities will activate and that's really awesome as well so and then so what's really cool is you're not really losing out on the stuff you're discarding which is also really awesome and then next we have kiora as the next write up her ability says when she attacks on vanguard circle you can bounce any card in your board back to hand which is really really crucial uh so something Keep in mind you can actually grade two games so you can call you know grade twos or ones or whatever and bounce them back you can also play cards like yuika and then bounce those cards back so you basically just get your board back to hand and that's also really key if you are playing into matchups like sure new year lure you can kind of grade two game a little bit and not have to worry so much about what's going on if you need to grade two game if you don't need to grade two game you can write up this deck just does prefer going second for the most part strangely enough it's very explosive going second going first is okay but usually your opponent's turn is stronger than yours in your grade three turns so realistically going second actually isn't bad in this deck as long as the deck you're facing isn't something super explosive like get diva on first ride up sometimes get diva on first ride can be very aggressive uh the grade three that we're gonna ride up which is Kyrie. she has two abilities she says at the um about that she attacked you can so fast bounce two cards then if your persona if you bounce two you can call two but they have to be in column intervals so basically something like this uh there is a new card that kind of fixes this issue that we'll be talking about but this is a grade four variant so you will very rarely be using this ability and only unless you're going first and you have no choice but you shouldn't really be using this ability and we are not focusing on persona so we are not focusing on the persona build at all for this let's go ahead and talk about our grade fours before we go into the threes here so we, i'm running three of the sds live Kyrie. this is the grade four variant she has triple drive and then she has all your rear guards that are placed this turn get 5k second ability says with no costs on it says when you're when this you attacks if your soul has a card with Kyrie's card you can choose up to two cards from rear guard circles return to hand and then you can choose two cards from your hand and call the rear guard circle keep in mind the second effect is mandatory you have to choose two cards so even if you bounce nothing you have to call something if you use her ability um so keep that in mind also you have to have a Kyrie and soul just something to keep track of don't don't make sure you don't soul blast your Kyrie. and if you do make sure you start writing these then to kind of fix that problem or you can actually find a way to shove them in i do have a card that shoves Kyrie's into soul so you don't have to worry about it too too much just something to kind of keep on the lookout uh you'll notice i'm running three there is a lot of ways to get to this card you don't really need four unless it's a super heavy prison meta because we're not in super heavy prison meta you should have no problems running three and be able to find all your conditions we have a lot of cards that search the deck that search the drop you so you can discard them you can also find them you can put them into soul with other card effects so you don't really have to worry so much about this being at four if you're worried about bricking you should not be bricking you should be able to find this card in time uh, it's very rare that you won't nowadays in the past this was a very good card to whiff and they get stuck on the the grade three card but nowadays you should not have that as a problem Go ahead and talk about our threes. We got our new dragon right here. Card's actually really good in this deck in multiple ways. So it's first effect says when it's placed on Vanguard or Guard Circle. If you have a grade four, choose one grade four card from your hand and reveal it. If you revealed a card, if you revealed it a card or your Vanguard is grade four, you can perform one actions below. So you can counter blast and draw a card, and this unit gets 10k power. Or on a guard circle, you get 15k shield. Very, very nuts card, especially when you're on grade four. That's insane. Also says when it's discarded from hand while riding to grade three or while striding, you get to draw a card. So that's also just really, really nuts. So you get to basically draw a card if you ride up to Kyrie. 
And then also on place, you can also draw more cards and she gets power. And then also under Kyrie's 5k condition, she gets 15k power on top of that. This card is actually really good. It makes a 28k, uh, 28k beater on its own. And then with boosters, it gets even higher. And then you'll chances are you'll be restanding it as well. So it gets even higher. And you're going to recall it so you can actually draw two cards if you want. If you're really not using your counter so you can kind of go crazy with this card. And this deck doesn't use too much counter because I don't run Melty. Um, so because I don't run Melty, this card is basically where the, all the drawing happens. And it just gets bigger and bigger. And because she gains power on top of that, I have prioritized this over Melty. It's a great three, but it's a great three with shield and also draws you cards and also makes magic numbers. So this is basically better Melty. The only downside is this happens on grade three turn and not, you know, on turn two. But honestly, on turn two, usually you shouldn't be like going, doing anything like super crazy. You're just swinging and kind of make, setting up a board and then press about to get back, right? So there's that. Uh, next, we have the Forbidal. A uh, very, very important card. This Forbidal searches for grade fours, searches for grade threes. Uh, obviously, we have grade threes and grade fours in the deck. There's no reason not to run this card. I know it's expensive, but I will say if you want to maximize on this deck, you have to run this. This is kind of, this is one of the few decks where this is like mandatory because you need to find the grade four. If you opt to not run this, then put this as the fourth copy of Kyrie and just hope you see it in time because that's the that's what you're going to have to sacrifice for this. This also gets grade three to board, which is also pretty important. But if you really want to substitute, just put a fourth copy of Kyrie and you should be good to go. There is another card that searches for grade, the grade four. The new card that I really like, this is part of the reverse stacking Kyrie engine. This is Rosani. Her ability says when she attacks a grade three or greater Vanguard, you can put a card from hand to soul. And check top two put one to hand one to bottom you can stack this with eileen and kind of go wild you can use eileen's effect first and then use her effect if you know what your top card is and kind of go crazy you can also get rid of shieldless cards like extra Kyrie's, put them into soul to then check top two and kind of keep reverse stacking this deck doesn't shuffle that much after four but all once you activate four but all on yasmin basically once you get to grade four you won't really be shuffling that often so this reverse stacking will actually start coming up and you can do this twice a turn with the eileen because you can reset this column up basically every single turn keep bouncing you keep recalling and you'll always have this active so you're basically looking through four cards at a time and it's a lot of scribing that you're doing even if you check out you can put it to the bottom and then you'll be you'll see it as the game goes because sometimes these games do go for pretty long Kyrie can heal out pretty a lot just with eileen alone because you're constantly looking at top card put at the bottom you'll eventually start seeing more of your triggers and basically what happens is that this card just gets you there even faster i do run one copy of the cow fee. this used to be three cow fees with this being the the card but i put this in just because i really like this this mechanic uh, but yeah, this is Calfi just on place get 10k. She just becomes a really big beater late game. Just a really good card to have. Just another target orbital. Let's go to the twos. The twos are very, very small. There's only there's only this one. This is the new two. This is Penelope. Uh, this card is really, really nuts. And this is actually the reason why we can run the reverse stacking stuff now. So during your turn, if you have a great three or greater Vagar Kyrie's card name, she gets 5k. So basically she's a constant 15 slash 20k if you're on a great four. And then she says, when your other front row rear guard is returned to hand by the ability of your great three or greater Kyrie's card name, basically whatever you bounce the thing. You can so by stand all the rear guards in her column, and then you're, if you have a grade four or greater, then you your entire front row gets 5k. That 5k is really massive. It makes Kyrie always hit for 18 and above. It's really, really nuts, by the way. Also, just really, really good stuff there. So basically, she restands herself and the column behind her, and then also on the other column, like the other side, where the grade three and the grade one or whatever will be over there, that also restands, basically, because you're going to be bouncing those two, and then use her ability to restand her side. So basically, you refresh your entire board, which is also really nuts because, hello, we get to reuse abilities. You don't have to think as hard with how you're bouncing and calling. It makes it easier for you to reset up. The only downside is that she doesn't recall herself back out, so you don't get the additional 5k off Kyrie, but that's why the front row gets the 5k instead. I think the front row 5k is actually pretty nuts. Tadia, a lot of people always ask me why I run this card. I just think it's insanely aggressive. It really shuts, it really closes out games really fast if like if uh, things are going against your opponent. You can close out very quickly with this card. Basically just says all place have an SDs get 10k. So she's a 50k beater, about to back call her out again. Another another 15k beater. Um, she makes really good numbers. Kyrie does struggle with numbers so this kind of fixes that the next really important card that makes this deck a lot stronger is the yasmin card's good for multiple reasons one it says if you have a uh, Kyrie's card name and your opponent's beggar is grade three you can care by search your deck for up to one up to one grade four Kyrie's card name and you and uh write it as stand and then you return this to deck so basically shuffle and then her second ability says if you have a grade four Kyrie, she gets tech and shield so basically she's a 15k shield very very nice this shield along with the grade three shield gives you so much shield basically your entire hand is 15k shields and i know it's not 10ks but that doesn't matter you just have so much shield so as the game goes later and later in your farming you just start uh, accumulating a lot of shield uh, just really 
really good stuff. Like, there's nothing wrong with more shield. Next, I run Yuiko. This is mainly for the Chirinui matchup. I put this back in just to deal with Chirinui matchups more, and also just to be able to great get the Grade 2 back to hand. I have noticed that getting this back to hand is pretty important because we have a soul issue now. That's actually why I opted to run this engine with the grade three because she gets, she replenishes the soul. You will eat your soul really fast. So be careful. Make sure you're not screwing up your Kyrie plays and like actually so westing a Kyrie out and not having a way to get one back. So it's just something to keep in mind. But otherwise, Yuka just says, you know, the thing in front of it when you boost, bounce it back with a soul blast. And then her other ability says she gets 5k when your points are grade three or greater. So she's also 13k little, little beater as well. So just really, really good stuff to have. Uh, next, we have perfect guards that you can't run Sanctitude in this deck which is probably the biggest downside to this deck because you just uh, you can just randomly auto lose to luar depending on what's going on you can sometimes kill them before it matters but for the most part you'll probably die to blue ward because they'll usually win the grade two game unless you're just really cracked and just keep hitting triggers um and i kind of overlooked this but i forgot about eileen so eileen is the package i was talking about with the grade three her ability says when she boosts you can check top card put it top or bottom what you basically want to do is you want to swing with both of them use her ability first check top card and then put down top or bottom and then use this ability to check top two add one to hit bottom deck one so so basically you can either bottom deck two or you could stack a card or you know do whatever you can also check it check with this first and be like okay i kind of like that card on top and then just not do anything with this ability take the balls deep end and just do this first and then do this and basically check top two and then check another top so check top three total so that's up to you how you want to do it but that's basically the main reason for this card so we have the red over trigger uh, i think the shift's broken I'm just gonna curse and everything for it. This shit's just this. This card is nuts. Anytime I check this, it's usually a game. Um, especially if there's a crit on top of that, it, it, it's it's usually a game. Um, your opponent can't can't deal with this. This is a very very especially if you have a board and everything. This this thing's stupid. Uh, so yeah, we're running this one because it's dumb. It gives you the extra attack. Kyrie. Oh, I always thought Kyrie was super strong. She had the sixth attack. I know there's a way to pseudo get it out with the great the other grade three. I don't think that's the way, but I, because you have to run that card just to get that off, and we have better grade threes now to run. But uh, the six, six attack is usually what makes Kyrie just bust and this is basically your sixth attack and uh, we have the heals i am running a counter heal this is the restander counter heals i've been testing them recently they are definitely very useful to the share new matchup so i highly recommend either going for one or two potentially if you are really scared of the share new matchup i just realized this isn't even the right heal trigger i've been talking my my butt off about this is the wrong this is the wrong trigger i gotta change this you should be running the restanding trigger pretend this is the restanding one you should be running that it's very very strong you, the crit one's good too but the the, the restanding one is just way more impactful right now you should be building towards whatever the best deck in the format is and the best deck in the format is definitely by far sure Nui. i don't think there's any deck that's as strong as that one right now and the only deck that answers that deck right now is actually magnolia mask uh, that magnolia mask just straight up destroys that deck um, but that's the only answer and the downside to magnolia mask is that's super bricky it's good but it's bricky and because it's so bricky even though it answers to share Nui, it doesn't have as many answers to other decks so uh, but long story short you should definitely be very very cautious of the share Nui matchup uh, we have some fronts, just uh, some fronts. Since this deck kind of goes through this deck quite a bit, you don't need draws as much, but they are useful. So if you feel like you want to run draws, just to lower the chance of breaking, go ahead. Just don't deck yourself out with the reverse stacking engine. And after that, we just have some triggers. Now, this deck in particular, I don't say this very often. So if this is crit triggers eight, I am running the soul crits because I use my soul a lot in this deck. So because of that, I actually am just in case running the soul crits. You can always play behind Kyrie and then stack a combo with plus two. Um, but yeah, you actually might, you might, there is a couple shots. There's a rare chance that you might actually use these. It's really rare, but because it's, it can happen. I actually do run the crit, the, 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 the crit triggers as well. So just in case you never know, let's go ahead and do a mulligan run and kind of show you guys what this all looks like together. So let's go do that. While I'm shuffling, here's what you guys said about Kyrie. All right, let's see who decides their fates. So we got a six and opponent got a six and we got a seven and opponent got a nine. So they'll choose. They'll probably go first because most decks like to go first or some decks to think that going first is like the better play. So they'll sometimes just go first. So we'll go on the middle half first. We're going to send back these triggers here and we did not have drawn to Yasmin, which is a problem. So hopefully we'll see her here in the future. But in the meantime, we'll just play it out, see where it, where it takes us. Well, so they went, and now it's our turn. There's the Yasmin, so that's really good. We're going to discard the Yuika and then put her here after we ride up to the, uh, the Nami and then draw a card. And we're probably just going to go ahead and call the Yasmin and swing here. On the assumption that the opponent can't retire it. You definitely, if they can retire, it's really bad. We have a heal, and then we're going to let our opponent do our thing. Uh, they, we checked a crit against them, and then we're going to go ahead and draw probably pitch this heal if we don't need it and ride up to the two here we can have a mini rush if thing but we can actually rush if we want so we're going to put the 10k there so this is a 15k and then we're going to go ahead and call the two here we're not going to call the other um 
do it because we don't need to. We're going to go ahead and swing 10 with this and then swing scale, bounce this back to hand. And we're going to go ahead and drive check another Kaida and then swing here and then still blast to bounce this card back to hand. Um, and this was um, 13, it was 23. So it's pretty, pretty beefy. Now our opponent's on grade three, so they're probably going to smack us a little bit. We're going to go ahead and take and take and lost our grade three. Like that great three, probably gonna block a little bit, but we are gonna we're gonna we're gonna have to you know eat there. But being at three damage is fine. So we're gonna go ahead and draw. Oh, we drew four, but all that's actually really really good. We're gonna discard a Kaida here, try it to her. Uh, use the ability of the uh, Yasmin first to go ahead and get our great four. And then we're actually gonna go right back in here and instantly do the uh, do that as well. Where we're gonna go probably grab this. We have the great two already. So realistically speaking, we can either grab this or the Grade 3, but we don't have Eileen, so I actually think I might just grab the other copy of the Grade 4. Since we do have we do have a Yuika on the board, we're going to be eating our soul a little bit, so this will be not a bad target to ride or shove to soul later. So I think that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to activate her Opplace ability here to just draw a card and give her the plus 15. We drew into a PG, which is really good. And actually, just for smart sake... Uh, oh no, we're fine. For smart sake, let's pretend we put this down here first just so we have the, the plus five buff as well then we're going to call this out here we're going to call this here get the 10k here so this is a very beefy board state basically we're looking at this is plus 10 this is plus 15 this is plus 10 back here and uh this is plus five and then this is also plus 10. so very 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 beefy board state we're uh, and this is our hand which is also not too bad. We're going to be drawing some cards. We're basically just going to be very annoying. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So this column is actually smaller. So we're going to go ahead and swing with this. This is 18, 28, 33. And then we're going to go ahead and swing this way. This is 21, 31, 41, 46 to the Vanguard. And then we're going to go ahead and swing here. Activate the ability to basically reset this column back up with Kyrie's ability. Put this on standby. Activate this ability. So bring this back and then use the ability of this to then draw a card. And that 15k is basically back, and this 10k is back. And now we also, on top of that, have an additional 5k front as well. So this is swing for 18, 28, 33 at the Vanguard for triple. So I'm going to go one, probably put her the crit wherever we feel is necessary. Just depends on the situation. We put it here. Um, and then because this is a little bigger, this is uh, 21, 31, 41, 46, 51. And this is 18, 28, 33. So we can stack it here. I can check. I mean, third check is Kadia, and then we're gonna just basically swing here. We're probably gonna bounce both sides back as long as we do. We have the soul. We do not have the soul to deal with it, so we can only bounce one back. So we're probably gonna bounce the shield. I don't know. This is tough. We don't have the two in hand. It's kind of risky. It just depends on what our opponent thinks. I think we're gonna use the Yuika here instead. So we're gonna go ahead so blast and bounce this back to hand, pass it to our opponent. Now that was a very aggressive turn for our opponent to deal with. That was a lot of stuff that they had to kind of go through. We're gonna go ahead and take two. Uh, we do heal here, so let's go ahead and take that out. Apparently healing is, is good for us. So they might target this. Sometimes people target my rear guards. I don't really fully know why, but they go after them. But we'll just block. And we did heal, so we can actually take room, we have room to take more damage. There goes our last Kyrie. That's not good. But it is what it is. And then we're gonna guard. Actually, we're going to try and keep this in hand. We kind of we might need it. And realistically, we actually might need it. So uh, we'll probably PG and then just pass it back to us. And this is probably our final turn, so I think we just have to kill here. So we're gonna, we are going to ride the Kyrie just so we have the additional soul to work with. Uh, keep in mind, you, if you soul blast mid-battle, uh, the effect is still online. Uh, just keep in mind, next turn, you just basically lose it. So what I'm getting at is when you soul blast with the two that I'm about to call, because it's on swing, you do the you do the recall first, and then Sobas with her. You actually are still able to get the effect off. Just something like that. Anyway, um, probably gonna just call the Eileen here, just because Eileen is good. And then if we really really feel like we need the soul, you can actually do something like this. It does get the five K buff off of her as well. This is probably our last turn, unless we like triple heal out or something like that. So we might as well just uh you know just go for the go for the for for the board state of having big numbers and just trying to kill here that's basically all we can do right now so we're gonna swing here and we're gonna check top card now we are gonna draw off of this i'm actually gonna leave this on the top because it's a shield for us and then we're gonna swing this way and uh do that and then we're gonna swing this way and we're gonna so blast the Kyrie here to then basically recall these back out and get the 5k uh, for both of them 
And then this one, we're going to use the ability to go ahead and draw that grade 3 that we just saw, because it's extra 50 shield, why not? And it's not a trigger, which is great for us. And then, uh, the, obviously, we're already still bosses, so this restands as well. And then we have the passive 5k on top of that. And also, this was back at plus 15, so this, the, these columns just got really huge again. We're going to go ahead and drive check. Ah, it's the over trigger, my, my best friend. So I think this con one of these columns has put, got a lot bigger. So it's 2131, 41. 46 and this is 1828 33 38 so we're gonna go ahead and put this on the slightly smaller column and draw basically this is gonna be attacking twice now and then we still have two more checks so we have oh we do a draw again just to make sure oh if we did not choose we did choose so we don't draw okay so check two and then check three we got the pg um and then yeah we're basically depending on the state of the damage this it kind of matters on which side you swing but i realistically speaking we'll probably swing this way um, it's Kalfi. We'll definitely bottom deck the Kalfi here. And then we'll go ahead and swing with this once and then restand her and swing with her again. And up to you if you want to bounce. I don't recommend bouncing here. Oh, we were supposed to put this into Soul and give power as well. So the power would have gone here since it's just 100 mil on it. So since we do have that in Soul, you can actually Soul Blast as well and bounce this card back under the assumption that your opponent isn't dead. They should be dead after that. Um, so yeah, that's basically Kyrie. Um, you, we kind of saw everything. The only thing I didn't show you guys is the re is the stacking play. So I'm actually going to go ahead and show you guys what that looks like. Anyway, so what you can do is you can swing with this and proc the Eileen first. Check your top card. And you can choose to leave it on top if you want. You can, if you leave it on top, then you can use her ability, shove this into Soul, and then check top two. And you can add this to hand and bottom deck to this. And then basically, uh, when and then you're gonna swing here, right? Then you're gonna swing here. You're basically gonna restand these columns, right? Do your checks. One, two, three. Uh, we're, we're just ignoring whatever that is, draw again. Um, and then now you can actually do this again. So you can again use her ability, check top card. And you can choose if you wanna if you wanna leave this on top or bottom, or whatever you wanna do, or if you wanna reverse stack it to the bottom, but you can reverse stack it to the bottom and use her ability again to like let's say, I don't know, like let's shove this other I lean into soul, right? And now we get to check top two again. So here's top two. And then we can add whatever to hand and bottom deck the other. So you can actually add this to hand, bottom deck to this. Now you might be thinking like, oh, we're well, gonna eventually lose them. Well, if actually, if you just keep doing these multiple times, so let's say we use Eileen again, and then check, check top two again, and then we're gonna bottom deck this, and then add this to hand, and then like we restand again and do it again. So again, we're gonna check top card. Let's say we put this to the bottom, and then check top two again. Uh, we could add this to hand, say bottom deck this. You'll eventually reach your stack, basically is what I'm getting at. Because let's say we drive check again, take some damage or whatever. Our stack isn't that far anymore. Like we're actually close to the stack again, see? So that's actually why you could do stuff like that and just get away with it. So it's really cool. It's something you want to definitely turn online instantly if you're trying to go for that play. Eventually you'll reach the bottom. And if you can, if you know where you put your heal, you'll, you'll hit like front heal, right? So if you know where you put it and if you remember the stack, you can actually get to it. You can even put the OT at the bottom and you'll eventually get it back to the top so that's just something you could do it's just a really cool little tactic i think it's really fun all right so that is basically Kyrie with all the new stuff i actually think this deck got a lot more uh both uh consistent and fun i i thought before it was good but it kind of had an inconsistency issue i think now it's more consistent the issue now is that deck's got a lot stronger and she's still kind of like ha has like a little bit of an issue like stabilizing early on sometimes early on she just doesn't have any shield and just flops sideways and dies I will say the way the game goes, the more you check heals, the more ridiculous this deck gets. As we saw there, there's some crazy stuff you can do as long as you're drawing into the right cards. The biggest downside to this deck is when you see all your triggers, like when you keep drawing and the things you are drawing are triggers. That is the worst thing that this deck can give you. But that, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, comment, don't forget to shop at 50 cards. Shop code orange for all your goodies. If you like what you saw here, or you know, need the I get the outer sleeves from him. By the way, the outer sleeves specifically, not the not the art specific sleeves, but you guys can check all that out at 50 cards. Shop code orange and all that good stuff. Everything else you may need, we do have. We do have the shirt set drop and the blue art set drop. The price has been going going crazy with those. We also have the new stuff coming out in May, so you can check all that out as well. And we also have the triple booster set coming out, so there's also that to kind of stay tuned for. And that, guys, peace out. That's the video. See you guys in a future video. Bye.